Ooh, let's talk to you. Hold on. That's a woman. That is a woman. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sakura Ogami. Yo, I thought you were a man. I thought you were hot over there. I didn't even realize you were wearing a skirt. <laughs> Everybody, my name is Jesse Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Dang and Rampa. Rampa? Yes, I said it right, I think. One, two, reload. So I asked you guys on Twitter, because you guys have been asking me to play this game for a very long time, whether I should do the trigger happy havoc or the reload, because it, I didn't see a difference. And he said that it was basically one, two, reload was the game one and two together. So I was like, I might as well do that. So I'm gonna start off with that game. It's a lot of reading in this game, as I heard. So I'm gonna try to push through because I know that I always hate reading. So I'm trying to push through and try to experience games that do have that because I feel like I might be missing out. So before I dive in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, look at like free girl fun, social media, all the good stuff, and let's begin. Oh, they have a, okay, wait a minute. They have logic difficulty, gentle, kind, or mean. And then an action difficulty, gentle, kind, or mean. So let me let me let me go ahead and do kind for both of them. I low key I low key want to do mean, but I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure. So let me just do kind. <laughs> let me do kind to start out. Massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Okay. Oh, that's a nice school. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. Okay, they say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Okay, so hope is pretty important because they highlighted it. <laughs> there are two things you need to attend the school. Okay, one, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way is if you, the only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. It's me? Yes, exactly. Before we go any farther, Makoto. I guess I should introduce myself. Oh. My name's Makoto Naegi. Okay, Naegi. All right. As you can see, oh, why didn't you keep talking? Okay. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the Oh, but don't say that. You're, you're great. So I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. So you're just saying you're bland? Like, I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, my favorite movie or TV show, they'd just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Oh, so he follows the crowd. Like, so he doesn't, he doesn't particularly do things on his own, it seems like. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Oh, so what does that mean? <laughs> so I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am sitting in front of anything but ordinary Hope Peaks Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if somebody like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole, but it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. So what did he do? Oh, oh, what is this, like a little chat log? They invite students who are truly elite in their field. It says, keep it coming. These are anonymous people. Okay, so it says, keep it coming. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything is their state of the art. This year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be going there. The ultimate baseball pro is going to be going there, too. Okay, so they have, like, a lot of, like, prestige people going. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked at some of those threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. Oh, they got an idol? Okay. Ultimate pop sensation? She's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Okay, so we got an idol. Let's see, we got, oh, we got a sports star. He was a cleanup hitter for the National High School Chance. Pro teams already had their eyes on him. Okay, so he looks like he might be. I hope he's not a bully. I hope he's not a bully. Then there's Ultimate Fashionista. She's like a model. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. 
And then, oh, wait a minute. He reminds me, hold on. Okay, so his hairstyle reminds me of the dude from Yu Hakusho, <laughs> who always, like, always was like, oh, you're a veggie, and everything like that. So I love him. I forgot his name, but I always say, you're a veggie, every time I see him because of his hair. <laughs> so they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader. So he's a, he's a delinquent. The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Okay, so let's get on his good side. <laughs> on top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate the ultimate fanfic creator. That might, <laughs> are they making my yaoi? Like, <laughs> okay, the ultimate gambler. Okay, the ultimate swing pro, programmer, clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Well, I think that he does. I think that he has a certain type of talent to get him into the school. Because there's all these ultimate baseball player and gang leader and fashionista and idol. And, and they're taking him. He must be good at something. So... But then, what about those other students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, he has to have something within him. So, I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Oh, are we going to see it? Okay, so we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. Oh, you know what, that's kind of like shade. That's kind of like backhanded shade. Like, you only get to go to this school because you were randomly selected. Because you are ordinary and, and boring and standard. Like, that's kind of like, it's kind of shady. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join, to join us as the ultimate lucky student ultimate lucky student like you are super lucky to get here you got invited by pure luck i probably would have been better off just declining you should have because they kind of disrespected you a little bit guaranteed for success later in life i just couldn't say no they're kind of playing with him i think like saying that he's extremely lucky to go there like come on i started to feel lost i didn't belong there i could feel myself losing my nerve but still i can't stand here in front of the gate forever Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutch in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students, main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gather all my determination, try to act like I've done this a million times before. Okay, let's go. Let's go in. You're gonna be fine. Okay, this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock tower in the corner. It says it's 17. Damn, he's early. He's like an hour early, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Okay, maybe you just start walking around. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around the school. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what's going on? The instant I took the step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together, spinning, mixing, melting away and spinning again. In the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh no, welcome to Despair High School. It doesn't even say hope anymore. So maybe he shouldn't have come early. That's what, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> so where am I? I woke up with the head resting on top of a hardened wooden desk. So my body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what, I, what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, oh, oh. We got a little new anim animation. Okay. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we like to explain the basic controls. You can use a left stick. Okay, adjust my aim. Am I shooting? <laughs> my hope I'm about to shoot. If you, can, if you can aim at an object and interact with it, you can press X, but okay. Oh, okay. All right, got it. So what's that? They have a surveillance camera in the classroom? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep weirdos from just wandering in. So who could get in? Because it's just prestigious people coming in here. So who, why would we need that? Okay, what is that? 
That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool. I must have left there. I have to clean that up later. What's that on the desk? It says, hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What? It's a cheap looking pamphlet. Oh my God. Okay, what time is it now? Can't believe it's already eight o'clock. It was just after seven when I got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, so time has passed. Okay, so let's change. Oh, that's how we change our view. Oh, what is that? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs here. Something feels off. Oh, these are like bolted shut? So we can't even look outside? Oh, it's metal. It's very thick and solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the window? What are y'all doing here? I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, then that just raises more questions. It's all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. Okay. Oh God. This hallway is kind of weird too. If you see any little purple illuminating light, something wrong is gonna happen, okay? It's not gonna be good. This is getting strange about a second. I have no idea what's going on. For now, I'm just heading to the main hall. So we can move around. Oh, okay, I didn't, oh, is this, what door is this? What door is this? So I wonder what the red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick. So can I look? Oh, no, 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 I can't look at that door. Okay, so that door is important. Um, What is down here? Let's see, that is the AV room. And that says peep out. What's in that room? Oh my God, okay, okay, you know what? Let me get to my objective, let me go to, oh wait, wait a minute, okay, so wait, that red door was the door to that little panda bear evil thing, so okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. So those are classrooms over there, and that says the spare hotel. So is this where people sleep? To stay overnight, but I need to get to the main hall. Okay, so let's get around there. Let's go this way. I believe I'm going to the main hall. I think I am. Okay, I think this is the way. Okay, let's go in here. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Uh-oh. Whoa, hey! Oh! Another new kid? Hey! Huh? Then you guys are all... You guys are all the students. He looks kinda hot over there to the right. All right, whatever. Yeah, we're all new here. Hmm. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Okay. So, counting him, that makes 15. All right. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. They, everybody looks so different. Like, everybody has a whole different personality and different shape. There's a there's a big dude back there. <laughs> dude with, that looks like an afro, almost, kind of. And it's cool, though. Standing before me with the ultimate students. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. What is going on? What is this? Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. So I am late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Mm -hmm. You two, oh, say they, they all were asleep. Mm-hmm. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Okay, so that's gonna be the smart dude. I feel like that's gonna be the smart one. So what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right Got now. It. It's just a moment. There's something else we must address. Why does he look like an evil dictator? <laughs> Listen to me. Listen, your tardiness is unacceptable. Oh, okay, so he's one of those. He's one of those. Surely you are aware of the meeting was the start at 8 p.m. show. Yeah, he's one of those that's probably gonna get on my nerves, like thinking that he's the the dictator, the rule abiding, law abiding student that is here. Okay. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. Dude, this is the first day. This is the first day of class. Who are you trying to punish? Like, I don't understand. He said it's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. It. That everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh. Is it the hell? No time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to even talk to each other if we don't even know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... So, okay, so let's get it out of the way. All right. 
I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other. I already looked everyone up on the Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. It's time to find out. Okay, so let's start by talking to them. So each one has an important conversation, and I gotta remember what's going on. So, let's see. Let's talk to you first. No, no, no. We're gonna get you last. We're gonna get you last, because you tried to give me a punishment, even though I was here at 7. So it's okay. I am Hifumi Yamada. Okay. If you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I, I don't mind. I'm not calling you that. I'm not calling you that. Okay. The Alpha and okay. Also, oh, he's the fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D. <laughs> In that world, I am known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh. Oh. Utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, 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 I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of yes, meaning? Indeed. It's about embracing your, our, oh, Jesus. I don't think, I don't think I want to comprehend it. I feel like it's going to be. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be porn. I don't know why. I feel like it's gonna be porn. Okay. Okay, let's get Leon. Oh, Leon. Yo, Hello. the name's oh. Leon Kuwata. What's up? Okay. Hey. He got a big safety pin on him. Okay. Oh, he's the baseball star. Oh, I recognize that name. Oh, that's him? Oh, okay. So he had a, he had a shorter haircut before. Okay. He said, you? Seriously? He said, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. But you were expecting some kind of kid with a shaved head? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look then. <laughs> he said, oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is so not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulation. Oh man, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Wait, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. So he's like, I'm gonna grow up my hair and it's gonna be red so y'all can suck it. <laughs> I like him. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? No. I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. What? So he must be just naturally good at the game. Yeah. As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Okay, so what is it? Oh, music. Okay, I like you know it. What I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're all set. Cool this new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Wow, okay, so he doesn't like he doesn't like baseball, he never practiced before, and he wants to be a musician. So I kinda like him. And she looks like she's sweet. Hi. I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Hello. Okay, so, oh, she's the pop. She's the pop idol. Okay, got it. The way she moves is positively mem mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. Yes, look at her. She looks so cute. She's an ultimate pop sensation. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she was going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember either. Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. So I'm not a doll, you know. I'm a lot. Oh, what? How did he? Is she the clairvoyant? Uh... Oh, she's psychic. Okay, great. Oh, oh, no, she's not. Okay, she's she's joking. That so I just have really good intuition. Okay. Hey, um... By any chance, it must be. I'm sure of it. Just did... hold on. So how long do you plan on wasting our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth, um... sir? You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. You know what? This is why I didn't even talk to him first. Cause he got an attitude already. I don't. I don't like him. Um, sorry. Okay, it's fine. We can talk about this later. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get back to it. We're gonna get back to it. Okay, so he's rude. You can't even wait your turn. He's talking about rules. He couldn't even wait his turn for everybody to introduce themselves. All right, whatever. 
Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but Aww. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Oh, she's shy. And that's the writing part of me. Okay. She's cool. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literal literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Oh my God. Despite her age, she's won countless prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to known as the writing prodigy. Okay, cool. So I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, but with their masterpiece being a, ma a romance and all. What's your problem? It's not polite to stare. What the oh. Heck? Oh, okay, God, okay, I'll look away. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not, you're not ugly. You're not ugly, I know it's true. Otherwise you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. I don't really care, I'm used to it. Okay. Well, let's not stare at her for too long because she thinks that she's ugly and that we're staring at her ugliness, but that's, that's not the case. Okay, let's talk to the bitch. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Uh -huh. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, you do that on your own, so. Okay, the ultimate moral compass? <laughs> okay, all right. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's a flawless honors student. He's known for the work that he's done in his community's public morals committee. They say that he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. I'm sorry, that means, that, means, that means to me that you're like a goody-goody. That means that you don't want to break any rules, okay? <laughs> so that's a good, strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. Me? And to keep that name from this value, you must devote yourself every Got single it. day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? <laughs> yeah, he's annoying. He's annoying. Now, this girl, she reminds me of that anime, like how much, how much are the dumbbells, how much weight are the dumbbells you lift? I think that's the name of the anime, but she reminds me of one of those characters. Hey, so she has to be an athlete I'm of Aoi some Asahina, sort. But my friends just call me Hina. Okay, so she's a swimming pro. Okay, yes, yeah, so she's the athlete, okay. So she's been breaking records in every competition since elementary school. She's been an up, oh, she's an Olympic cadet, okay. The combination of her ability appearance and proportions have been widely discussed Oh, so they're talking about her boobs and ass. Okay, got it. Mm. Said, What's your name again? Tali totally forgot. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Said, it's not something like that. It is that. Okay, got it. <laughs> Say your name is something like that. It is my name. You got what do you it. Mean? Here, I'll hammer it into my brain yeah. now. Okay, so she has to repeat it. Moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? I want to remember someone's name. You got to write it on your hand. Through... Okay, so she might be a little special. She might be a great athlete at swimming. I feel like nothing, something is not right there. Something is not all the way right there. I've never heard of that before in my life. How do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. I have no idea. Okay, so she's going to okay. be the dumb one. All right. One thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy, okay? So she's a good swimmer, but she's not all there in the head, okay? She looks like she's like... Hello, nice to meet you. Hmm. I'm so sorry that I skipped her name. I didn't mean to do that. Ultimate programmer. Oh. I get kind of embarrassed whenever I choose myself like this. <laughs> I hope we can get along. Huh? Oh, maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? I don't think so. We met for the first time. Which is why I said, nice to meet you. Man, my character is so sarcastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize yeah. for that. Okay, she's known for all the cutting edge programs that she's created. She also got a little timid bunny type of thing going on, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, uh, so listen, I'm, I'm really sorry. What are you um, apologizing for? So you seem upset, you must be mad at me. No, I'm not. You huh? just look lost. I had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. But that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. Okay. So she's very timid. She's very timid and doesn't want anybody to be mad. So let's look at her. Is she a fighter? She seems like it. Um, hello? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Uh, we don't know. We don't, she's the ultimate something. I don't know. She's just a mystery. 
Okay, her name didn't show up anywhere on the thread. Huh. Is she the is she one of the anonymous people? Ones who didn't have any real identity? Huh. So what are you doing at this point? So what is that supposed to mean? Is that I meant just getting invited here means you're the ultimate something. He says, so what ultimate something are you? Matter. Oh. Yes, you don't have to tell me. I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turn up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance. Okay, her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. Okay, so she's not telling me anything at all. So we're gonna keep an eye on her. Okay, we're gonna get to the delinquent last. Hi, I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna guess that she's the gambler. No, oh, oh wait, oh shoot, she's a fashionista. <laughs> I should have paid attention earlier. Oh my gosh, she looks a little different now. Okay, she looks different from there. Okay, cool. Got it. She's a fashionista. I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. That's what I'm saying. It's like she doesn't look like the fashionista thing like in the magazines when we first were getting introduced to her, so. What? Come on. So are you talking about my cover photos and stuff? <laughs> he said, well, of course, it's a totally photo show. Oh, well, you are very honest. Okay. She, she's more honest than everybody out here on Instagram now. <laughs> So, you know, edited to hell and bad with like computers and junk. What can we do? So, come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me totally. all depressed. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'll be totally blown away by the certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> oh, they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Okay, she's like, all that stuff that you were seeing, fake. Okay, those cover photos, fake. All right. <laughs> Name's Mondo Awada. Mm. Nice to fucking meet you. Oh, mouth language. Okay, you're the biker gang leader. That's obvious. Okay, that's the one that is the leader of everybody. He earned respect in all. Nice to meet Yo. you too. I better be careful around him. <laughs> okay, we're not even gonna talk to him that much. Okay. Oh, let's talk to you. Hold on. That's a woman. That is a woman. Oh, but hold on. Hold I am on. Sakura Okami. Yo, I thought you were a man. I thought you were hot over there. I didn't even realize you were wearing a skirt. <laughs> okay, you're the martial artist, the Lord woman. You are ripped. I almost after she was a guy. I thought that was a man. Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, she competed in the martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. Oh well, you could be a girl and win a martial arts tournament, okay? Don't don't talk about some despite being a girl. You can be, alright? Thank you. Spot in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. I can tell with those type of arms. Good lord Jesus. There's a bit more about her. They call her ogre. Some people even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. Oh, come on. Come on, they're just being mean right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs, okay? Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating hey. about that. Yeah? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod in my body. Then what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an ex extremely ordinary high school hmm. student. Okay, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Oh. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna be. All right. You look like a detective. Name's Byakuya Togami. Oh, okay. Ultimate affluent prodigy. So he's rich? Okay, that's the most half-assed introduction. Okay. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. Okay, so he's rich, basically. His title is ultimate affluent progeny. Is completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the thread. Come okay. on. So we're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Okay. It said, go away, I'm sick of looking at you. It said, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Okay, so he might be a bitch too. So let's, 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 keep, let's keep note of that. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hey. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Oh, he looks cool. What is he? Oh, he's the clairvoyance. Oh, okay, mom. Okay, hey, Supernova, the psychic community. Okay, cool. I didn't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. I can't help wondering if there's any truth Could it to it. Be... 
She said, you give up. You're serious. You looked right at it. So mm. what? A garden angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. So he, is he a psychic or like does he smoke weed? Like which one does he do? That garden angel is your garden angel. <laughs> but hey, we should grab some brewski some time and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. That I'm actually 21. You've been held back a few times and it's a long story. So you are 21 and still in high school. What the hell is going on? That is a long story. Okay, so he is of drinking age. So he's not even a, a teenager. He's a full grown adult. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Okay, she sounds like she might be a, like, like into astronomy or something. What is it? Oh, she's the gambler. Okay, so she's the Kagiguri of this of this thing. Okay, got it. <laughs> is it? But if you don't mind, I'm afraid you call me Celeste. Okay, you are Japanese, huh? right? So why do you ask? If you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. That is my real name. Rather, you call me Celeste. She's polite, but very forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. What were they saying? The self-styled Celestia, who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. So she's a liar. She's totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta be careful of this one. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful of this one for sure. With all that, everything is done. They're all ultimate, but they each have their own individual sort of something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. Okay, well, okay. Um, uh, um. So you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? That's the truth for all of us. I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Oh, God, sorry! <laughs> And that's not the only thing. You saw where we, all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? They were all bolted up. Bunch of big metal plates, so we can't even see outside. Real? Plus, all my stuff is missing, even my cell phone. Mm. You're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. Mm. And then there's a main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hat. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck is going on here? Mm. <laughs> Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, you know, crime or is something. It like... like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us all and hauled us and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. He said, don't think like that. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation nope. procedure. I'm sure that's it, so I'm gonna take it easy for a little bit. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? He said, if that's all it is, it's nap time for you me, know what okay? I, mean. I was up way too late last night so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Uh-oh. Is the panda bear gonna come out? Yep, there goes the evil bear. There goes the evil bear. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check. One, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am uh -oh. I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. I don't like his voice. He reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's. I just can't. The voice seems totally out of place. It was so playful. Playful. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene uh, of the accident. To all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please oh. make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I don't like that. I don't like it. I feel I feel jigsaw vibes. I don't, I don't like this at all. Huh? What the hell was that? Goodbye. He said, if you excuse me. So you should go take off like that? This whole thing just gets all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Thank God it was all a joke. It'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill them? Huh? Said, Wait for me, I wanna go with you. So everybody's leaving. <laughs> okay, I'll see you all there. Anyway. I said, I'm gonna go too. So everyone's going, to, everyone's going. But I was frozen there where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had. It looked like I wasn't the only uh, one. Um, this doesn't seem this right. This is bad. However. Then maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. 
Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around I here? See. See, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. She's right. You know what? I kind of I kinda like the martial artist one. She's, she's practical. See, but still, I'm kind of really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Okay. Hey, come on. I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was such a pain in the balls. <laughs> And it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. This place is even worse. Um, so why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. So are we like the only students here at this school? Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing venture, nothing gain. I like her. I like her. Her outlook. I kind of like. I kind of like the way that she's thinking. <sighs> Shit. Listen, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this hey, over. Damn it. Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Is it no running? Well, <laughs> I too shall go. Yay! Is it don't leave me here all alone? <laughs> okay, time for some tutorial action. Okay, observing will display what people and objects can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! So I told y'all it's totally normal, okay? Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Where are you? Then let's get things rolling. Where are you, you little demon? Oh. Oh, okay. So we get like a little animation of what's going on. Who are you? Huh? A teddy bear? Right. I'm not a teddy bear. Okay, you're a panda? What are you? I am Monokuma! Monokuma. And I am this school's headmaster. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so why does he talk like that? He seems like a scarier version of the thing from My Hero Academia, because that little thing is like a little mouse rat thing, and he's like the head of the school, but this one seems very, very creepy. Nice to meet you all. Okay, such a bright voice and a carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all of that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Listen, that teddy bear can talk. <laughs> so calm down. I'm sure it's just a speaker inside hey, of it. You're not on. a teddy bear? Master. What? Say what? <laughs> Listen, calm down. It's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. Listen, how dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just can't bear it. I just couldn't bear that. So now he has jokes. Well, say so you are unfortunate. Hmm. Then moving on, we just really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid fair puns? Now then. Quiet down now, okay? <laughs> so he has abandoned the gag. Okay, so now he's done with jokes. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. <laughs> What's your so you don't have to say it back. Now then. now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Let's talk a bit about your school life here. We'll be like. Make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such slender hope, ah! you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. So now we got to sleep here. Now I gotta sleep with the rest of the students, okay. Oh, pause, wait a minute, that didn't sound right. I mean, he has to live with the other students and sleep next to them in bed. So, <laughs> so now then, regarding the end date for the life, there isn't one. What, so we're stuck here? In other words, you'll be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. What did you just say? Yep. Fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for the common conveniences. Hold on a second. Oh my god, so we're gonna be here till we die. Hmm. So you're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? True. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar of that. You can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. And just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. Oh, we see that with the freaking bolted up windows and everything. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. So all those metal plates all over the school, they're ready to cut us off. They're there to keep us trapped in here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. 
So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. He said, what is this? I don't care if it's school or whatever, whoever else is behind it all. This is really just a bad joke. Damn you. He said, cut it out. It's not funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a choke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna but do? I guess you can't help it. You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the process. Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Peaks Academy, didn't you? Well, I mean, I guess he's right, because all I did was get a letter saying that they um, picked me out of a lottery, and I willingly went. So I guess he's correct. So you've already decided that you want hey, to leave. Uh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Actually. So as headmaster, I've created a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation now clause. Then. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is a graduation I feel like we're gonna die. Something is telling me that we're gonna die. Like, if we break the rules of the communal lifestyle that he's saying, I feel like he's going to kill us, chop our head off, and eat us. And that's our graduation. That's what I feel. What? So what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> he said, well, you know, if one person were to murder another. So we have to kill someone? We have, no, not us dying. We have to kill someone else to get out. Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. I gotta be a murderer. I gotta be a murderer to get out of here. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> so I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? He said, like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and getting it, seeing it and get murdered, creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! Oh my god. What the hell? What are you talking about? Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. He's like, there's nothing to killing. Just kill them, okay? What are you saying? He said, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? What? He said, this makes no sense to send us home. Blabbering, uh -oh. blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. He has that little like anime uh, pose like where they're like going crazy from that upper angle and everything. You guys just don't get it to you. Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead and kill, kill, kill us free. Uh. He said, how long are you going to keep this up? You know? He said, you got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. You can go ahead and reveal the trick now, okay? Reveal the trick? Right, yeah, because, right? I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, like, Damn, shit. he said, shut up and get out of my way. He said, he placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. He said, listen up. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? He said, what do you mean? Like, you're, oh, now he rolls it. Now he rolls it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> He kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's picking up the bear! Gotcha, you little piece of shit! Uh-oh! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either uh -huh. way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Now he's picking up the bear! Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! What? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Uh-oh! Hey, damn it. No smart ass comeback? Piece of shit! Watch out! Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh? Hurry up and throw it! It's a grenade! So he threw him out of Kuma as soon as he did. He's a bomb! Uh, he is a bomb? Wh what? What the? There's a painful ringing in my ears that can smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies, but this is real life. I've never seen anything what? like it. You know, this means that the teddy's bear been destroyed, right? I told 
told you I'm not a teddy bear. So you're back? There's another one? Damn you. So you seriously tried to kill me just now? So I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little squat on the butt. This is bad. This means like there's a bunch of more of you around yep. here somewhere? He said they have been placed all throughout the school, so he's not the only one. It's a lot of him. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you get caught breaking any rules, well, you also saw what happened, right? <laughs> said, and I won't just be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. So basically, if we break rules, we can die. If one of our students wants to get out, we can die. If we want to just live here for the rest of our lives, we will die. So we're just gonna die at some point. That's not even punishment, it's well. wrong. To commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook, pretty cool. As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. So while moving on, this handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name, always making sure that you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses what? than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll just keep on ticking. Thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant, so it contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you do them thoroughly. Nice. You'll hear me say this a lot, but by any... Any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucially a strict punishment to place for violators. Okay, well that brings our entrance ceremony Bye -bye. to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. Oh my god. So you guys, how would you define what we just experienced? <laughs> um, I don't understand any of this. We all have to live here forever or kill someone, basically. What just happened? Everyone, we just need to calm down. Okay, so she seems like she might be like the detective type. Like she's calm, trying to take everything in and trying to figure out how to get out of here or get around his rules, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what he said, we have two choices. Choice number one is we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is if we want to get out of here, we have to kill someone. That's the killing someone, what? that's like, we're abducted oh, out of nowhere yeah. and stuck to a place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is just, what is this? Ridiculous. <laughs> it's a lie, that's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. <laughs> Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. So what matters is, words. is there anyone who's seriously considering all of this? Oh. Keeping quiet, I looked around at the others. Everyone's scared because they're like, are you guys going to try to kill me? They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could have almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules that he laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Right, like you can never know. And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had to come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. <laughs> wow. Prologue, welcome to despair. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the surviving... Oh, so they tell you which students are going to die? To be continued, what? Wait, was that the whole thing? Can't be, can't be the whole thing. Are these the credits? <laughs> like what is going on? Hey, hey, Makoto, hey. Yes. Siaka, Leon, Chihiro Hero. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're going too fast. They're going too fast for me to say all of them. All right. <laughs> and it looks like, I want to know what she's about. I want to know this quiet one. And then this evil bear that there's many of. Okay, I like how they're doing like this whole like anime intro thing. I like it. And she's so cute. She's one of my favorite ones. And Junko's cool too. 
she's real. She's like, my stuff is photoshopping. <laughs> I like this. Oh. Mm. I see what this is gonna be. This is gonna be a game where not everybody's going to live, okay? <laughs> oh God. Oh. We are going to have a wild ride playing this game, I feel like. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that is the end of the intro to Trigger Happy Havoc. So this game is not what I thought it was gonna be. So basically, I have to either live there and not kill anyone, or if I want to get out, I have to kill someone, or somebody could kill me, or somebody else. So I already know that I probably should not get attached to certain people because they might die from another character trying to kill them. The only ones that I really want to figure out so far from the intro, I think I want to figure out the girl that uh, doesn't talk much. I want to talk to the programmer because maybe she can help me with the little e-handbook that he gave us and maybe she could tweak it a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. I want to stay close to the martial arts girl because she looks like she could keep me safe. And uh, Junko seems very cool to me too, because she's very honest and real, it seems like. So I wanna keep those four people in mind so far. But if you guys like the video, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on it, and I'll be back with another episode of this. Um, I'm also gonna be coming back with um, whichever Resident Evil game you guys uh, voted for, and also Final Fantasy. But the next episode of Danganronpa is definitely gonna be longer than this one, of course. But this was just the intro, just for me to get a feel of like what this game will be. And I kind of like it so far. It is a lot of reading. It is a lot of reading. So I still have to get through that, but I'm pushing through. So I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time. And this is.